Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. 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 you? Fine. Is it raining by your house? No? No. Hello, hello. Really? Here I am, here I am. Nice. Now it's raining here. No. Here no. All right, all right. Nice, nice, very good. Okay. okay. Well, welcome, welcome guys. guys. Nice, nice to see nice you again. again. Are we ready Are we for ready another for class? class? Always ready, oh. right, Joseph? <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, so um, okay, so, um I, guess I guess everybody else is everybody coming, else in. coming in. <clears throat> so Joseph, how was your day today? Was it a good day? Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Amica, you can hear me? Ahorita. All right. Yeah, Eli, you, you hear me like that? What about the rest? Do you hear me okay? Yeah. Not, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Clear, clear. yeah, I can't hear properly. All right, Efrain, you cannot hear me. No, no, not so clear, not so clear. Huh. All right, well, I don't know. Maybe it's because, I don't know why. <laughs> it might be because of the rain. But, but let me try. I'll be doing my best. Effort. All right, yeah, because I can hear you, okay? So to you. Okay, very good. Thank you, yes. Efrain. All right, very good. So, okay. Miguel Angel, how was your day today? <clears throat> Average. <laughs> Average, how come? It was, a good day. it was a good day. All right. But my influencer is average for this. Yeah, okay, <laughs> very good. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. What about Fatima? How was your day today, Fatima? Good. So good. tired. Right, okay. Did you have to work? work? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. What about Eric? How was your day today, Eric? It was a rough day, but I made it. Excellent, that's the attitude, very good. And Daisy, did you play your instrument today? No, Daisy, did you play your saxophone? Is that what you play, you told me? <laughs> Is that what you play, a saxophone? Um, I am um, practice. Um, I, I don't practice in um. quarantine. Oh my goodness, all right, okay, all right, <clears throat> very nice. Okay, guys, so it's nice to have most of you again in class. There is Julio and then um, some other people are coming in, so that's nice. Okay, so today, guys, I told you that we're gonna begin section three, all right? Uh, and we're like right on schedule, okay? So we're doing perfectly fine. So today's the last class for the second week, which I, have felt it super quick okay so two more weeks and you guys are going to be finishing up the advanced one all right are you planning to continue on the courses yes no guys can you hear me yes uh, yes i am yes, so far all right okay so are you planning to continue taking the co the other courses after yes, yes. yeah Okay. I, yeah, so I think right. so. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay. <laughs> very good. Okay. So, guys, uh, that's what you want, Telly. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, you should take advantage of these opportunities, all right? So, it's good for you. Okay. So, today, uh, as I said, we're going to begin section three. And uh, today is the last day of this week. Okay. So, I'll see you again on Monday. So, today, guys, we're going to talk about. Um, defining and non-defining relative clauses okay so sometimes when we hear the name we kind of wonder what is that right we have used them before we know what they are but sometimes just because of the name we kind of wonder what they are but there's nothing from the other side of the moon all right so i'm going to share this with you uh just let me see here i'm going to share this first this is from the platform <clears throat> All right, it says defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's see. Uh, Fatima, can you define a relative clause for us, please? The first one? Yes, the first one. Okay. 
a, a defining reality clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. Mm -hmm. Example, mm -hmm. New, York, New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Excellent. All right. Very good. Um, Amilcar, can you read the second sentence, please? Sure. <clears throat> An undefined reality oh, clause Salvador. is optional. Uh, Amilcar, ah, the second sorry. example. That's okay. That's so, okay. So. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. Excellent. Thank you. Very nice. All right, Eddie, can you read the uh, heading of the second paragraph, please? <clears throat> an undefining relative clause gives optional information about an un. About that an un? The use uh -huh. of comma. Excellent. Very good. Idalia, can you read the first example? And then Julio, you can read the second example. Uh -huh, Hi, Idalia. Okay, so which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics is well now for its shopping. Excellent, thank you, Dalia. And Julio, can you read the last sentence? There are many places enshrined in Kyoto, which is to be the capital of Japan. All right, very good. So there are many temples and shrines at Ky in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. All right. So here, guys, uh, I wanted to show you this because we have both uh, the two types of clauses that we're supposed to study in one in the same picture, okay? The first one, as your classmate already read them, it says the first one is a defining relative clause defines or gives. Okay, that's okay, uh, Jocelyn, I understand. All right. <clears throat> So defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a, about a noun, okay? About a person, about something, a place, an animal or something, all right? It gives essential information. I want you to keep that in mind. That's the information that we need in other words, okay? Whereas non-defining relative clauses gives optional information. Check the difference between the first one and the second one. The first one is essential information, information that I need to know, that I need to give, and that I need to have. On the other hand, it says optional information, all right, which is not necessary. So let's go back to the first examples. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Now, if I only say New Orleans is a city, is that a complete idea, guys? Yes. yes. If I say New Orleans City, is that is that okay? Is it complete? Yes. Yeah? So if I'm talking to you and out of the blue I say New Orleans is a city and you're going to say, oh, okay. Or do you expect for me to give you more information about New Orleans? I expect to you to give more information. That's right, because you're kind of wondering, what are you talking about, Jessica? All right, like, okay, complete your idea. What about New Orleans? Yeah, I know it's a city, but what? What about it, right? If I also say Salvador is famous for food and music. Okay, so what? Are you going to say something else about Salvador? All right, so All right. when we talk about defining a relative clause is that we need to give more information, information that is needed, not that is optional. Let's look at the other examples. It says Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for it. Notice that from which to Olympics, it's between commas. If I remove that information and I take it away and I just say Seoul is well known for its shopping, you understand what I'm saying. There's nothing there that you're like, you're not really wondering anything else because what is in between commas is optional information, is additional information, is something that may be important but maybe not because my sentence is complete without it. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Yes. Yeah? All right. Okay, very good. So now I'm going to show you uh, this. Uh, presentation here that might explain a little bit better what I'm talking about here okay so here we have it sorry oops okay defining relative clauses versus non-defining 
relative clauses, okay? Let's do this one, guys. Help me out here. Question one, the hotel we stayed was good. Can I use where, can I use which, or can I use either? Either could be used. What do you guys think? Where? Read the sentence. That's where. Okay. Where, so the hotel, hotel where was, mm -hmm. good. was good. Okay, the hotel where we stayed was good. So uh, for Efrain is where? What about for the rest of you guys? Where, which, or both? Where to? Both, okay. I think that neither could be used there. Where? Either could be used? Both. Yes. Okay, all right, let's, let's, look, let's look at the other um, question or sentence. The man interviewed me seem friendly enough. Who, which, or either could be used? Who? 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 All right, Who? not which. No, oh, because which is only for things and ah. not for people. All right, okay, fair enough. What about three? The car, was stolen belonged to my partner. The car which was stolen, the car that was stolen, or either could be used. Either. 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 Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's check number four. The house they have rented in is in the center of town. Which that or either? Either. 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 Okay. All right, okay. So let's, let's keep on working here and then we're gonna find out if you guys were correct or not, okay? Defining relative clauses. It says, gives us information about the first part of the sentence, which is needed. It's saying exactly the same thing as we read on the platform. Essential information, needed information. To identify a person or a thing. Define, that's why they are called defining relative clauses. They define exactly who or what we're talking about. Okay, that's why we need that information. Second part is starts with a relative pronoun, who or which. So guys, when we see these sentences or these clauses, we have, it's like having two sentences separately and join and we join them with relative pronouns okay now the first part usually is the defining relative clause that we need um the information that we need it's there all right so in this case doesn't have commas and can use that instead of who or which that's why here the house that or the house which they have rented is in the center of town either could be used here either that's correct because which can be replaced for that and it's okay or if you say for number two the men who i mean sorry eh, for number three i meant the car which or the car that was stolen belonged to my partner if you said either could be used, you were right, okay? Because that's the way it is. So that can replace who or which on defining relative clauses. Remember, there are three things that you know you need to know about defining relative clauses. One, the information is needed. Second, it doesn't go in, it doesn't uh, have commas. And the third, that you can um, replace who or which for that on defining relative clauses. <clears throat> Two clauses joined together by a relative pronoun, and this is what I was telling you. Who, where, which, whom, whose, when, where, those are relative pronouns, all right? Brenda is a friend. I went on holiday with her, all right? Jonathan, can you read the second sentence and tell me how they have joined it together, please? Yeah. Brenda is the friend who I went on holiday with. Okay. So they removed the, the dot and... They removed the period. Just, uh -huh. And just put who. And they added who, right? Brenda mm -hmm. is the friend who I went on holiday with. So there are no longer two sentences. It's one. It becomes one joined by a relative pronoun. In this case, who, because we're talking about people. All right, let's do, the, let's do the other one. Example two. Who wants to read example two for me? Anybody? Only one? 
Me. All right. Yes. I spoke to the man. Mm -hmm. Which man? Mm -hmm. What about the man? Right. We need more. De oh, cannot. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's yours. Yeah. We need more detail. We require a def the defining defining relative clause. Yes. This gave us detail about the now. I spoke to the man who gave you the news. Very good. Thank you. If I only say to you, I come to Julio and I say, Julio, I spoke to the man. And Julio says, which man? What man? What are you talking about, Jessica? All right. And then I said, ah, I spoke to the man who gave you the news or who I met last, I don't know, Saturday. This week. All right. Or last week. Right. So I need more information about that man. How do I do that? By adding a relative pronoun so I can give you more information that is needed. Okay. Get it, guys? So far, so good? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's continue. Very good. Thank you, Ellie. Example two. Uh, Roxana, do you mind reading this for us, Roxana? Roxana, no. Lydia, are you there? Ah, Roxana, thank you. Uh -huh. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I read the letter. Uh -huh. Which letter? Uh -huh. We need more detail. Right. The one. Can I continue? Yes, please. Yes. The one that arrived this morning. The one that arrived this morning. All right. I read the morning. letter. The one that arrived this morning. All right. Very good. Who wants to read this for me? That. That. Me? Uh -huh. Yes, Can please. Thank you. Yes, please. Go that. ahead. Did you know the student who that that came to the lesson yesterday? Very good. All right, the continue. Book, uh -huh. The book which that I'm reading is very interesting. Right. So if you notice here, what they are saying is you can replace who with that, or you can replace which with that. And it makes like perfect sense and it's okay. Uh, grammatically speaking, I cannot tell you which one is better than the other one because they're both the same. All right. But this happens on defining relative clauses. All right. Let's recap here on defining relative clauses. Eric, can you read please? Recap on defining relative clauses. Mm -hmm. Who is equals insane, like people? Mm -hmm. uh, um, which, yeah, which equals animals and things. Mm -hmm. That equals can be used instead of who and which. Very good. Thank you. So those are the, the things that you guys need to remember. Of course, in this particular case that we're talking about the relative pronouns, who and which, all right, you can uh, replace it with not problem using that and it's going to be okay. All right. Remember re defining relative clauses. You don't use commas, all right, and you need that information. That's why you're giving that information because it's essential information. Okay, let's continue here then. Other relative pronouns, as I told you, there are many more. Whose means possession, when means days, months, and years, and where, or time in a way, and where is for places. All, all those are relative pronouns, okay? Whose, let's see, um, Lydia, can you read this, please? Yes. That's the woman whose son runs over my cat. That's the woman whose son ran over my cat. Very good, all right? So in that case, you're using the relative pronoun whose, all right? If I only tell you that's the woman and I stop, you're gonna look at me like saying, aha, uh -huh, what happened with the All right, and I say, ah, whose son ran over my cat, yeah? So I give you more information, information that is needed I use a relative pronoun and I don't need commas, okay? When or where, who wants to read this example, guys, please? Anybody to read? Okay, me, you guys? Yes. yes, thank you. Tell me when you expect to arrive. That's right. The hotel where we stay was excellent. Very good, all right, so here again, you notice we're using a relative pronoun when or where, depending on what you're saying, no commas are needed and the information is essential, all right? 
compare the two. All right, who wants to compare these two, guys? I need volunteers. I need you to be active here in class. Uh huh. Who wants to read this? Okay, Ellie. Yes, yes. thank you. Okay. Ellie, to read. Yes, please. You need me to read. Okay. Uh, compare the two. Alan is a student who is wearing blue, mm -hmm. and Alan is who is not paying any attention. Is it paying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who is not paying any attention in class? Live in at home. All right, home is a city. All right. Thank you, Ellie. So here we have Alan is a student who is wearing blue. All right. So here is the information needed, guys. Yeah. Something yeah. Needed. Yeah because, yeah, because if I only say Alan is a student, what about him? What kind of a student is he? Who is he? Ah, who's wearing blue? Edwin, for example, is kind of wearing blue shirt, I think. And I said, ah, Edwin is a student. Uh, what about Edwin? Or who's Edwin? Who's wearing blue? Or who's wearing glasses? All right, so you identify who's Edwin, all right? Or the other example, this is Alan, who is not paying any attention in class, lives in this all right, now, if you remove the pink information between commas and you have Alan lives in East Ham, that's a perfect sentence, all right? You don't need anything else. And the thought is not, it is complete, all right? Yes, do you understand that, guys? Yes, I do. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. One question, one question. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, would it happen, what would happen if we had two Alans and the two of them in blue, wearing blue. <laughs> uh, then you would have to give more information about which one, more which Alan are you talking about, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Who is wearing blue and is okay. sitting next to Idalia, for example. Yeah, All right, okay. and the other yeah. Alan is not yeah. sitting next to Idalia. So you know, in that case, um, you would have to give more information because we have Extra two information Alan. Right yeah, here. Okay. super nice, thank yeah, you. thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> So um, here, guys, what I'm trying to tell you is that on the second type of sentences, sometimes we like give you information that is not necessary, but it's good for you to give it. Now, the point here is not that he's not paying attention. The point here is that he lives in East Ham. All right, that's the, the core of the sentence, okay? Do these sentences have the same meaning? Let's check these guys. The passengers who came out of the bus went home. The passengers who came out of the bus went home. Does it have the same meaning to you? Read them carefully and do they mean the same? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah? No, okay. no, no different meanings. Okay, I explain it, Brian. Please. Yeah, I think in the first sentence, in the first sentence, you're, we're talking about the people who were who, who were okay. who were driving. Okay. In the bus, in the bus. Okay. In the and second the other one, one? The people who were maybe maybe in a car or or walking okay. outside the bus. Okay. The passengers who came out of the bus went home. The passengers who came out of the bus went home. All right, so if you oh, notice... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh-huh. What, what about the rest of the students? I'll Guys, what do you say? The first one is like uh, in general, this, you're uh -huh. talking like uh, just passengers. But then the second one, it gets like details, like, like the passengers. What passenger who came out of the bus? So they went home. That's just All right. that passengers. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Someone else, a, a girl was speaking, I think. Yes, yes, me. Okay. No, the point, the point is that the, pas the passengers went home. Uh -huh. That's the point. Right. For the, the second one. Say, no, the no, the first one uh, like say more about the passengers. Okay. And the second one, you can omit the who came out, the of, the came out of the bus and you say the passenger went, went home. home. Right. If you notice, thank you, Vero. If you notice these two sentences, like the meaning is very, very close. That's why we're kind of thinking, ah, all right, like trying to find out the difference. The, the, the difference is very, very small. 
but there is an emphasis on like the passengers went home. You could just say that and it, it makes perfect sense, all right? Everything, everything ha here, guys, you need to pay attention to two things. What is in between commas and the way you read the sentences, all right? What is the stronger message here? The passengers went home. That's the, that's the whole thing here, that they went home. Where were they? Who cares? But they went home, right? So the, 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 um, the difference is very, very light between those two. I'm going to show you more examples where you can say, ah, okay, I get it, all right? Let's, let's keep on doing this. Non-defining relative clauses. Here, these are the other type. They give you extra information about a person, animal, or thing. Watch it, extra information, optional information. The relatives go between commas, all right? Without this extra information, the sentence will still make complete sense, all right? No problem with that. So three things, extra information between commas, all right? And if you take the extra information, it still makes perfect sense. Example, your brother who gave me the news saw the accident. You can perfectly say your brother saw the accident, okay? Ahí le da más, más chambre, le agrega nada más. Who gave me the news? Le pone más spice, you spice it up. Porque usted lo pudo haber dejado, your brother saw the accident. No, pero me tuvo que decir, who well. gave me the news? <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so your brother saw the accident. It still makes sense. Which refers to the whole of the sentence before can be used to make a comment about who, a whole situation describing a main clause. The teacher arrived on time, which amazed everybody. In this case, it's not really between commas because if you notice, it's pretty much at the end. It, this only happens with which, all right? But there's still one comma there anyway. They had everything ready for us, which was nice, all right? So that's like an extra information about how that made that, like the whole situation and how perhaps it made you feel. What's the reason for using non-defining clauses? Example, Sheila is a student. What can we do to make it more interesting? See, this is what they do. They make the sentences more interesting than finding relative clauses, okay? Now, we can't, we cannot use that, all right? You can't. Remember that in relative clauses, you can omit a who or you can omit which and use that for the for the non-defining you can't all right examples here i like as i liked a spider-man which i've seen recently not that i have seen recently you can't do that i have found my keys which i had been looking for not that i've been looking for it wouldn't be properly said all right okay List the difference. This is what I want you to do, guys. Um, I want you to take pictures beginning from here. I think you're going to take like five or six pictures, okay? This is picture number one. Can you take a picture right now? Let me know when you're ready. Good evening. Okay. Picture number Done. two. Whoops. Picture number two. Okay. Everybody ready? Yes. Picture number three. Ready? Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, next picture, I think it's four, it would be. All right, next one. All right. A couple of more guys, thank you. Uh huh, another one. All right, 
This one also. All right, uh, let me see this one. Do, 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 do. That's okay, all right, that's more than enough. So what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to go to your groups, and the first uh, picture that you took was list defining and non-defining relative clauses. What I want you to do, for example, if I'm working with uh, Veronica, with Veronica, I want you guys to talk about what number that non-defining relative clauses include, what do, what do they do, all right? All the information that you remember about defining and non-defining non relative clauses, that would be number one. Then for the other slides or the other pictures, read the sentences and they give you like, is it saying this or does it mean this? And then you have to decide what it means and then you have to go through that. Uh, I'm gonna send you right now to your groups. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? I don't know if Jocelyn is going to be able to participate because she sent me a message that she's working. So if someone is working with her, maybe you can ask her through chat because she might not be able to answer. All right. Okay. There you go, guys. Jocelyn, I don't think you can participate right now, right? Fatima. Teacher, hi. Uh, you were supposed to work with Jocelyn, but I think she's at work. So I'm going to move okay. to another group right now because I don't think she's going to be able to join us. I'm going to send you to another group right now. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
is okay. we we have to list the difference for the finite defining 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 relative process defining yeah Define yeah, the opposite for the number five. Hello, Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Well, we are in the sixth. Six. Oh, all right. And the sixth one? Perfect. Yeah. All right. Did you make the list of like the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses? Yeah, I talk <laughs> with this. All right, very good. You understand it okay, right? No problem? No, teacher. Um, I have a question about mm -hmm. the exercise in the platform because I have a problem because I, when I, um, I think that is a correct. Daisy, I'm, Daisy, I'm sorry. It just it, it didn't. Um, I wasn't able to listen. Uh huh. And not is a correct. And um, I have a problem with the exercise in the platform. Uh huh. Which one? When I I write the exercise and I think about the is a correct exercise mm -hmm. or the same is not and I or the teacher and with my friends and um, it's not courage and I think it's mm. correct and I right. I don't know okay. they say do you remember which number it is and um, number three I think from which the section section two yeah section I think for the That bears the what with problems. The knowledge check, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. All right. And not accepted any any of the answers. Yeah. No. All right. So section two and yeah. the knowledge check. Do you let me see. Hold on. Also, to me, in one activity of section one, that uh -huh. it was the one of the, the grandmother verses, I put the names of the family members and uh -huh. I put them in it like that it was incorrect. And they okay. uh, then I put it the same way and uh -huh. it was correct. Yeah. And, you know what? Um, sometimes what happens, Armando, sometimes the uh, platform is uh, like overcrowded all right and sometimes it gives you that a small error all right so sometimes you need to keep on trying but if the problem persists then you may tell me they see is this the, is this the one no it's the other and the the lead for the for the verbs about the problems three for um, example the cows identify ignore yeah, but it would be easier for me if you would tell me exactly which one it is so I can help you better. Because this one is section two. Oh no, I'm not in section two. Forget it. <laughs> this is section three, honey. Yeah. My my bad, my bad. Hold on. All right, yeah, you were right. I'm gonna stop sharing uh because it's faster that way. Section two, uh, two point two. Does it sound to you? Or two point five? Verbs that go with problems. Right after that one, Daisy. Um, I'm gonna show it to you. Verbs that go with problems. Uh huh. Hold on. I think it's. Let me see. Is it this one? Check it. Um. Yeah. My friend never does anything about his problems. Is this the one? That was the one? 
Yeah. Okay, okay. So just give me a second here. And then I'll help you with yours. Um, 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 Let me see. Do you still have the answers with you or were you? Um... I'm gonna show it to you. Have you not done it this way? I just want you to see the answers. What I'm highlighting right now, that would be the answer. That's all you have to do, Daisy. Can you see? Daisy? The, the, I think that for my internet, but I don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm highlighting, that would be the oh, answer. For example, the first, I, 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 yeah. You just need to write the word, not the whole sentence. Okay. That's why it says replace them using the following okay. verbs, right? So just make sure that you do I, sorry, Daisy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> So just uh, just type the um, the verb. <laughs> okay, so that I think it, it would be better. I think it would help you, right? Now. Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. Ar and Armando, did you eventually fix your problem, or you still have a problem with the one you were telling yes, me? I fix it at that moment okay all right yeah sometimes when it takes it right and then it takes it wrong something is not like working properly but it's because a lot of people are using it and it gets overcrowded all right so when that happens kind of like try it again but in the case of daisy whenever you have a problem like that you can let me know and i can help you just sometimes be patient because i teach many different classes during the day and i don't have like the things at hand, you know, so sometimes I might take a while, but I will eventually answer to you, okay? Thank you, guys. Keep on working. Not doing it, just to face some people who taste my food. That's the, no, that no they have no price for that. You just say, yeah, I did it. It tastes good. So I don't know. Okay. What are you talking about, Vero? <laughs> we're talking about. We were... <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking about food? Yeah, food. Yes. I was I was uh, telling telling to him that I do desserts oh, and food. My oh my god! And he was asking, yeah, and he was asking what I enjoy to do more. Okay. or desserts okay. and i say that was a very difficult difficult question because okay. i didn't know <laughs> oh okay all right oh my goodness that sounds <laughs> all right you guys were able to finish everything it right <laughs> it was a tasty chat <laughs> yeah no kidding eh wow <laughs> I'm glad I was not in it because I get hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. All right. Were you able to finish the exercise? Yes? Yes. All right. Very yes. good. So we're going to go back right now. We're going to check it together as a group. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, guys, let's see. Let's work it together before we go. So what do you guys, uh, what can you guys tell me or list the differences between defining and non-defining relative clauses? Differences that you mentioned with your partners? Well, yes. Yes, Miguel. And um, one will be that defining are really important for the structure of the sentence, while non-defining are not really necessary for the structure of the okay. sentence. Okay. Yes. Very good. Anybody else? Thank you, Miguel. Anybody else about telling me the difference between those two? Uh huh. Defining house. Causes you doesn't use comma and okay. non-defining use comma. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Armando. Anybody else? And yeah, in, 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 no. use... uh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now I want to say that in non-defining product clauses, we, we need an extra information. Right. Yeah. Which is necessary. All right. Okay. All right. And who else? Eric, was it you talking before? Yes, and when you're using defining relative clauses, you can use which and who and equals to that. But right. when you're using non-defining, you never use that. That's right, very good. Thank you guys, excellent. I think you got it, very nice. Okay, what about this one? Read the sentences, then decide which option A or B is correct and tell me why. My sister who lives in Pakistan is a doctor. I have one sister. I have more than one sister, guys. Letter B. More than one sister. Yeah. yeah. Letter B because... That's right. Why? Uh -huh. Tell me why. Well, because... You know that are talking about their sister. All right. Okay. So I'm talking in particular about that sister that lives in Pakistan. Maybe I have another one that lives in Australia. All right, or I lives in Japan or something, right? Okay, number two, flat screen televisions, which are very expensive, have a better picture quality. A or B, guys? What do you say? A, A or B? I hope you're saying A. <laughs> B. Letter B. B. I say B. Flat screen televisions, which talking about expensive Sorry. ones, not the cheaper. Hola, hola. We hear you. All right, thank you. Sorry, it's almost time to go, but the computer just got me out of this. All right, so flat screens. Uh huh which are very expensive, have better picture quality, A or B? Uh, we use the letter A, but reading careful, I think it's the letter B because you are talking about, because you are talking about, are very expensive, that means that can be cheap too. Uh -huh. well, what the is correct letter is letter, letter well, A, letter A. Since the beginning it says, flat screen televisions, mm -hmm. which are very expensive, have a better picture quality. So yeah, I think it's all letter flat a, guys. screen televisions are very expensive. Right, yeah. It's, talk, it's yeah, talking about flat televisions. A bit, yes, it's A. Yeah, it's A, very good. All right, quickly, number three, the athletes, the athletes who tested positive for taking drugs were suspended. A or B? Um, B. B, right. Not all of them did. All right, the athletes who tested positive, that means they're not, not all of them um, tested positive for taking drugs, all right? The teacher at this school who arrived late for class will be dismissed, A or B? I mean, letter B or a, C, let, sorry, B or letter, C. Letter, letter, <laughs> letter B. Letter, letter B. B, right, yeah, yeah B yes. or C, it's yeah, B. Because B. there's no A and the uh, <laughs> request for a or B? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's B. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, the students who had tickets went into the museum. Uh-huh. C or B. Oh, there you go. Different letters. Different letters. 
All the students sí. had tickets or some students had tickets? Because some had sí. tickets. Because the who had tickets is just an extra bit of information. Uh -huh. like they, they all went into the museum and they had tickets. But not all of them, uh, because it says I who have, had tickets. I think it's easy. Letter C, right? Letter C. Letter C. It's letter C. C. Some, of the, some of the students had tickets. tickets and some did uh, not. The, the next yeah. one. Uh huh. The students think who it, had tickets. I think it's yes. the next one. <laughs> all yeah, right. The next okay. one is, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. The same one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the comma right. said, I think it yeah, yeah, make the, the whole, sentence that's a little right. bit different. That's right, yes, that's, that's the way. All right, the students who had tickets went into the museum. That one, yes, all the students had tickets, right? Very good. Okay, guys, so very well done. Thank you so much for being with me another week. I'll see you guys on Monday, all right? So please be safe, work on the platform, and I'll, and I'll see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. Too. Thank, you, Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye